Yes. So basically, this is the first topic: uh, projection of points, lines, and planes. In which, uh, before we start the projection of lines, we need to understand what is the orientation of the point in reference to these two planes. Which are the two planes we are referring to? First plane that we are referring is the vertical plane, right? That is this plane. Okay. Right. And the second plane we are referring it to is the horizontal plane. Right. Whenever we are referring to these yes. planes, we need to understand what is their location. The location of vertical plane and horizontal plane is perpendicular to each other. And mm. whenever the point is placed, let us say in the first quadrant. So how do we designate the position of point? The point is positioned by these two words, above HP and in front of VP. So in reference to the position of point in the first quadrant we will always have to look for these two words above hp that is how much distance the point is above this xy line right so when mm -hmm. the observer is here right this is ob observer position observer will be able to see the position of point which is in the first quadrant let us say this is our point a right so this is the distance from the hp that we will be looking for above the hp okay and yes. whenever the same point is mentioned in front of vp so we are looking for what is the distance of the point from the vertical plane right so we can easily get to know that to get this distance above hp we can easily get to know that this distance will be projected or will be obtained above the xy correct on the vertical plane whenever we look in this direction right so how we can denote this if we denote this intersection of the vertical plane and horizontal plane by xy right this above hp distance let us say the point is if a if this is the point a <coughs> So this A point as it is above can be designated as A dash, right? Okay. So yes. this distance will be above the HP, correct? And mm. to get the in front of VP distance, we will have to look it from this end, that is from above the object, right? So the distance which is in front from vp will be observed or projected on the horizontal plane right but right. because of the limitations of the paper sizes or to draw it on the paper properly what we will have to do we will have to rotate this horizontal plane so after the rotation of horizontal plane by 90 degree right this horizontal plane will occupy a position below vertical plane right so mm we get that this is a vertical plane position and exactly below it this is the position for horizontal plane if i show it very schematically correct so the distance which is in front will be this much right correct mm. if i take some arbitrary distance so this point will be a right so whenever the point is placed in the first quadrant correct Mm. So if the same point, if we take the same point A and instead of the first quadrant, if we say that the point is in now in the second quadrant, right? The point is in second mm. quadrant, then how we are going to denote? Same notation above the HP, but now we will designate it behind VP because with respect to the observer position, now the point is behind a vertical plane. That's why we will call it as above the HP and this will be the distance behind the VP. Correct? Getting? The position uh, of point no, actually, to this. This one? Ha, see, the point is now placed in this quadrant. This is second quadrant. Okay? This was the okay. first quadrant. So now we consider that the vertical plane is opaque. Right? So that the 
point which is in the second quadrant will be visible even though it is behind the vertical plane correct now yes. we always mention the position of point with respect to the horizontal plane so the point a which is in second quadrant will be designated by the two words above the hp and behind the vp so above the hp will be this distance correct okay and behind vp will be by how much distance it is behind this vertical plane right so how do we okay. designate on the paper this is suppose xy for the second quadrant right the above hp distance we will be projected in reference to the xy above the xy line let us say this is the point a now correct yes right so this is the distance that we can see correct so mm. this is the distance which is above correct and this point is a dash correct because above the xy we denote the point by dash right and below the xy we denote the point without dash right for the first quadrant is above the xy the point is in dash because projection obtained on the vp and it's in front of vp distance will be obtained below xy so that will be without dash now let us look at how do we obtain the behind vp distance for behind vp distance we will have to look it from top side correct so the distance by how much it is behind will be projected on which plane here correct so this will be somewhere in distance if we take it very arbitrarily are you getting this with reference to this vertical yes. plane by how much distance behind will be obtained on this hp right and to locate on paper what we need to do we need to rotate this horizontal plane by 90 degree clockwise after rotation clockwise don't you think this a will come upwards because it will horizontal plane will coincide with the vertical plane correct so in this case depending upon how much distance it is behind vp we will be able to get the position of a in this case i am considering that the distance behind vp is larger than the distance which is above so a point will be here okay so that is behind vp distance will be this much okay getting this yes second quarter now we need to locate the point let us say in the third quadrant okay let us take this is a point okay so for the third quadrant how we designate the third quadrant will be designated by these two words below hp and behind vp how it is and below behind. hp ha huh? yes below hp and behind vp behind yes correct so whenever the observer is same looking towards the vp correct so in this case the point a is behind this vertical plane correct and with reference to the position of the observer from here the point will be below the horizontal plane that's why it is below hp and behind vp now to get the location mm. this is the distance let us say behind vp right let us say this is the distance which is below the hp correct so now we will easily get to know that this is the distance which is below hp can be obtained on which plane vertical plane correct this is below okay so if i locate it with respect to this xy line right where i can i see the dash dash distance which is nothing but below hp distance will be located below the xy correct are you getting this so let us say this is a point yes so this much is the distance which is below the hp okay and to get the distance behind vp i need to look it from this arrow right so this distance 
by how much distance it is behind VP will be obtained on which plane? Horizontal plane, correct? Right? Mm. Now, yes. as a, our convention, we need to rotate the horizontal plane by 90 degree clockwise. So, by how much distance it is behind, that is this distance will be, now after the rotation will come vertical, that is above the XY, correct? So, this mm. distance, if I take this much, this will be the position of point A, correct, for the third quadrant, correct? This was the position for second quadrant, right? And this was the position for first quadrant, okay? Now, let us keep the point is now in the fourth quadrant, which is designated by below HP and in front of VP. So now the point is here. Okay. In front of the observer. So whenever the point is in the fourth quadrant, how do we designate its position by these two words below HP in front of VP. So this is the distance which is below HP and this is the distance which is in front of VP. Now we can easily get to know that the distance which is below the HP that is this much distance and the observer is looking from this direction this distance will be obtained on which plane vertical plane correct are you getting mm. this right yes this is the intersection of VP and HP XY so this distance which is below HP will be obtained where below the XY and that will be designated by dash correct because it is obtained on vertical plane below HP distance is designated by dash because obtained on vertical now how do we get how much distance it is in front for that getting this much distance we need to look it from the above right and we will get to know that this distance will be projected on horizontal plane correct if you look it from this side okay. now as per our convention we need to rotate the horizontal plane clockwise by 90 degree so this distance which was obtained on horizontal plane while looking from this end will be now observed below the below the xy correct now here i am assuming the distance of this in front which is this much after rotation of hp is let us say here okay correct so this distance I am getting the yes. below in front of VP distance. Now if you compare all four, right? This is the first quadrant position A dash above A below. This is for second quadrant position A dash and A both are above the XY, right? In the third, yes. what we observe A is above A dash is below, right? which is nothing but you can see yes. which is opposite to the first quadrant the first quadrant a dash is above a is below whereas in third quadrant a is above a dash is below so this we need to memorize right and based on what words we are going to remember based on these combination of the words correct and if you compare this with the fourth quadrant we see that a dash and a both will be below the x y line right now there could be another case wherever the A point could be on the one of the plane itself, right? So that we will consider later on, okay? To simplify the things, we will consider only these four cases first. Above HP, in front of VP for first quadrant, above HP, behind VP for second, right? So we can easily get to know that whenever the word is above HP, we always have to look for what is the another word mentioned whether it is in front of VP or behind VP to get the position whether the point is located in first or second quadrant wherever the word is below HP right we always have to look for whether it is behind VP or in front of VP based on which we can we can find out whether the point is in third or fourth quarter okay okay yes now we will move on okay so based on this we have certain notations designed okay so to simplify the things further right 
so we denote the true length true length of a line by the two letters a b2 if we take the xy as a intersection of the vertical and horizontal plane this is the vertical plane right and this is a horizontal plane so the true length of the line which is below the xy will be designated by a b2 whereas a is a point first point and b2 is the second point the same true length if it is located in the vertical plane will be designated by this letters a dash b1 dash a dash being in the above the vp distance right and b1 dash will be the second point of the same line so these are for the true lengths okay then we designate the front view of a line by the notations a dash b dash i will tell you about this later what do you mean by the front view yes yes then if we denote the top view the top view will be designated by ab so these are four important notations this front view top view true length above xy that is true length of assumed line ab and corresponding true length of assumed line ab2 so these are four important then we also need to know what is the inclination made by the line with respect to hp where is our hp this is our hp that is below xy so if the line is inclined to the hp like this so the inclination that we denote is denoted by theta okay so inclination okay. of a line with reference to h pi will be denoted by theta okay whereas inclination of a line with respect to vp suppose this is a line right suppose this is a point a and this is a point b1 dash i'm taking a very naive example mm. a dash b1 dash and suppose this is a point a and this is a point b2 okay as per our convention i'm choosing i'm referring to so this point uh, a b2 is a line so this inclination i will have to refer it as phi because it is with respect to the vp correct <laughs> this ab line yes okay. is with reference to the vp making an inclination phi okay similarly as we have uh, indicated we have to do the opposite right sorry uh we have to do the opposite right because in the upper part uh, it will be 5 instead of theta right correct correct because it is an inclination with yes so whenever we are mentioning the angle with respect to hp so always we mean that the line has to be drawn with respect to xy and it is to be located above the xy correct mm. right and based on the quadrant with that will also be determined i am taking the first quadrant as an example right so the okay. now for the second case true inclination of line with respect to vp where is our vp always vp will be above the xy correct so no. in reference to that if the line is needed to be drawn inclined to vp it is needed to be drawn below the xy because that will be the phi correct where is our f y f a uh, vp this way vp will be here so if the line is making inclination with vp that will be making inclination or that is needed to be shown below the xy there only will the line can make inclination with respect to vp are you getting this uh, no actually okay uh, you got this theta yes theta means i i just got this thing like right? theta means uh, inclination of a line with hp yes so opposite to that phi so if the line is making inclination with vp that will be shown below xy and that is the angle will be so by line so by line what do we mean we do we mean xy or do we mean a1 b1 or a2 b2 what yes. do we mean by the line ha, written the line we will mean that a dash b1 dash or a b2 i will explain this further okay sir because whenever we place the line in the first quadrant or any quadrant we will always have to refer to the position of the line based on the two points 
बिकॉज वॉट इज अ लाइन लाइन इज अ सेगमेंट बिटवीन द टू पॉइंट करेक्ट so based on the position of the points we have defined these notations right so whenever we will take a real example you will get to know what it is currently i am skipping this alpha and beta i will tell you this later on okay and we will be rarely discussing about this a dash b v double dash so i am skipping these two this also a b1 and a dash b2 dash this i will discuss later on along with this okay okay currently we were only discussing six points front view of line top view of line corresponding true length of line corresponding true length of line below xy and true inclination with hp and vp okay let's proceed now based on that we can have the line parallel to two principal planes so now what do you mean by the two principal planes as we have seen this is the vertical plane so vertical plane is called as a principal plane and horizontal plane is also called as principal plane okay so what is mentioned in the first case the line is parallel to horizontal plane as well as vertical plane are you getting this what is the position of line okay so if i draw this yes it is parallel parallel to both correct so in this case if the line is parallel to both right uh, i will denote that mm. line by some another color let us say black okay so this is the line i am showing okay so this line is parallel to suppose both these planes right so the, let us say this is the distance of the line above the hp right let us take this point as a and list the this point as b okay let us take by this is the distance the line is making in front okay getting this yes line is above hp yes in front of vp so now this is our xy okay where will be the observer observer will be always locating here that is looking at the vertical plane right for the front view and for the top view observer will be above this okay correct okay right so in this case this is the distance which is above the hp correct so where we are going to see the above hp distance this is the xy right so this distance we will be seeing here okay if this is the point suppose a dash correct are you getting this this is the yes. distance which is above hp distance let us denote uh, let us take this hypothetical case this distance is suppose 10 mm okay right mm. so how much is this distance 10 okay are you yes. getting this yes now as the line ab is parallel to vertical plane so don't you think the whatever is the distance of the a dash from the xy will be the same distance for the b right and yes the seg line segment a dash b dash will be horizontal like this correct correct right and the same distance so no need to show it again right so this is the yes yes now by how much distance it is in front right will be obtained where will be obtained on the horizontal plane correct mm -hmm. and this horizontal plane needed to be rotated by 90 degree clockwise correct right yes so that will be yes shown in this way let us take this distance as 15 okay so the same point a dash we draw it vertically exactly below and this point now will be designated at a okay similarly the same distance will be maintained by this b point because this a line ab line is also parallel to hp so whatever the distance made by the a from the vertical plane same distance will be made by the point b with reference to the vertical plane which is nothing but in front distance correct 
So I will draw this line B, which is exactly below the B dash. Getting this? This is the very simplest case. Yes. Okay. So okay. this first case I will consider. Line is horizontal. Line is parallel to horizontal plane as well as vertical plane. We will skip the other two cases because those may not be required. Okay, the line is parallel to VP and BP. PP means a plane which is perpendicular okay. to vertical as well as horizontal. That is a, a, mm. uh, additional plane which is perpendicular to both. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, Okay. Now let us take a line which is parallel to VP and inclined to HP. Even though the line is uh, inclined to profile plane, we may not be required to consider that. Okay, these two things are enough to understand how we can locate the line. So now understand what is given. This is vertical plane. Okay, this is horizontal plane. Now what is mentioned? The line is parallel to VP. Okay, but inclined to which plane? horizontal right so how do we designate the position of line let us say this is the position of a which is above hp right and let us take this is the distance which is in front okay now instead of the line which is horizontal that is parallel to both the nine now the line will be inclined like this so the line will be making an inclination this much are you getting this? Okay. So now, as the line is making inclination with respect to the HP, how we have designated earlier? Theta? It will be theta. Correct. Perfect. Right? So, so what is PP? PP means Principal profile plane. plane. What does it mean? Suppose I take this vertical plane. This is a vertical plane. This is a horizontal plane. There will be one more plane like this so this plane which i have drawn just now is perpendicular to vertical plane as well as it is perpendicular to horizontal plane this will be more useful whenever we are going to study orthographic okay whenever we wanted to draw the side view in that case this plane is more important right because whatever the observer will be looking from this particular end which is nothing but for this case is the right hand side view Projection will be obtained on this plane, which is profile plane. Okay, we will discuss this later on. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. So now read the problem. A line AB having length 50 mm, right? What does it means? No. Length of the line is given. So, P P P ka length is 50 mm. Yes, true length, true length. AB ka length is 50. True length. Yes. True length is 50. Now, true length is 50. Ah, so, as per the convention, we have there were two positions by which we can denote the true length. Correct? What was those two positions? If I go back, we designate the true length by the two letters. Where is the true length? This is the true length, right? We denote the capital true length A B two, correct? A B two, and okay. we also denote the true length by A dash B one dash. So we can simply write ahead of that that A B one dash is fifty and A B two is fifty, correct? Because it's a true length. Getting? Yes. Yes. So we will write it down that this is the length which is 50 and that is will be denoted by A dash B1 dash right and that will be also equals to A B2. Okay. Now we will look for what is the next mention. A is 10 mm above HP. 
what does it means right this will not be enough to understand in which quadrant it is located so what additional it should be given with whether the position of the point is now is given in front of vp or it is behind vp correct that is also need to be given yes, yes. so now it is mentioned that above hp and in front of vp so what we can interpret in front of vp is a below hp distance and above hp is the we will get it on the vertical plane so we can interpret a dash is 10 mm above the xy correct getting this okay. yes So this is a dash is 10 mm above x y, right? And we can write it down. A is below x y. How much? 20. Okay. Now. Okay. Theta is 45 degree. Are you able to see the screen? Something strange happened. Ah <laughs> uh, no, I am able to see the screen. Okay, okay, take it. Probably my tablet has extensively used. Okay, so you are teaching on a uh, tablet, right? Yes, yes, yes. Tablet uh, okay. point is now not working fine. So that's why I, sometimes I write of this weird thing that is using a mouse. Okay, okay. This is forty-five, correct? Mm. Yes. Now I will shift to the AutoCAD because AutoCAD will be easier in that this. Okay. So now we have already got yes. the enough things. We have got the true length. We have got the inclination of the true length. We have got the a dash and a. Okay. So now. Yes. I will stop sharing the screen and now I will sharing the screen for AutoCAD. Okay, so this was another problem I was listed. So, in the AutoCAD, we are given with the template, so need not to draw the rectangle. But as I am not using the template currently, I will draw a rectangle of size 420 tab 297. Enter, right? And then I will make it little zoom. Okay, what is the first thing we draw? we draw the xy line and whenever we draw the xy line we will also have to ensure that this ortho mode is on so that the line whatever we draw is remaining horizontal like this look at this currently ortho mode is not on so the line was not horizontal now once i switch it on the ortho mode by clicking on this you can see the line is now appearing horizontal or vertical correct right now i will rename this line by using this multi line text okay so i type the x enter y i adjust the height by selecting the x and y and then i will take suppose the height as 5 okay you can see this are you able to see x and y hello I hope you are able to see. Then, yes, yes. Ah, uh, my mic was off. I was speaking, but my mic was off. So ah, uh, no worries, no worries. Take care. So now, once I type this x and y, I will explode it. Now, what is the result of explosion? X and y, which were made using the single multi-line text, now will get separated, right? Now I can move it, but for placing appropriately, I need to switch it off the ortho, like this. Correct. Okay. This is not a mandatory task, but it will always guide us. Correct? Now, what was given there? A dash point. How much distance the A dash is above? 10 mm. So, we will draw a line 10 mm above. How we can draw? 
we can switch it on this O snap, right? Then we can take this point, switch it on the ortho mode. We can type ten here. Okay. Mm. So this line is ten mm, right? Okay. And the same line by how much distance it was in front? Twenty mm. Okay. Yes. Enter. Yes. Now you must have noticed that green color checkbox is appearing as soon as I take this point. Yes. Why it was appearing? It was because of the O snap. This O snap okay. option. Okay. And this O. What is in, that? Oh, O snap allows us to select the different positions of the object. Look at this. If I move you my mouse by taking a line command, it will highlight the end point like this. Okay. You can also see that. If I take this reference of the point, like this, I can see the green color dotted line. Are you able to see this green color dotted line? Yes. Yes. That is because of the O snap tracking option is on, which is also available here. See this object snap tracking one. It is very useful option. How do we access? Go to this drop down menu. Besides this O snap triangle. Go to the object snap settings and switch it on this. Okay, and okay. these points as and when needed, I will tell you. End point, mid point, center, geometric center, node, quadrant, intersection, perpendicular, tangent. Other points may not required. Okay. Okay. Yes. Right. So now we have already taken the distance. Now we need to already uh, we need to show this that this is the point. A dash. This is the point A. So how we can show? We can copy this, okay? But I will not suggest to copy this because it is always better to take a multi-line text again and list the different points that you require in advance. So we will require a point A dash. I will increase the height of the text. Let us take five, okay? A dash. A, sorry, A dash, A. I will retype. Wait, something strange happened. I will delete this. Multi-line text. A dash, A, B, B dash. B one dash, B two, B two dash, okay. Then uh, B one. I will increase the text height so that you can see what I have typed. What I have written? A dash, A, B, B dash, B one dash, B two, B two dash, and B one. Now, I wanted to make a subscript to this one. So what I will do? I will select this only one. As soon as I select, you can see this option appearing. X two, subscript. Okay. Similarly, I will select two. X two, subscript. Okay. Subscript. B one, subscript. Okay. 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 Now, I will make this. Explode so that now all these letters will now separated get separated from the each other. Now this was a dash, correct? Right. Yes. And this point was a. Now I need to also give the distance how much they were, so I can take this dimension line here, right? Annotation tab me. And I will make it aligned. Now, whenever I make it aligned, that O snap option will be now very useful to select the end points of the line like this. Okay? Can you see this? Because O snap option is on. Otherwise, if it is off, I will not be able to select the proper end point. Say this. I am not able to click it now. So I will switch it on again. Okay. Okay, so this is done. Now, what was the next thing given? 
we have to just click on dimension right yes, to yes. get to here here dimensions and select the aligned so it it happened with me in the exam first exam that uh, i drew a problem of for lanes no for lines projection of lines mm -hmm. and in that i solved it like properly and wow. then when i was giving the dimensions out i uh, the those vertical lines and horizontal lines uh, that were there in the problem i gave them uh, barabar se but when it came to angle uh, one or two of them angles i did it perfectly but then third angle it uh, wasn't just uh, showing at perfectly the dimension ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha so that i will tell you that is because of the o snap settings if it is on na sometimes it may fetch you to a different position okay okay sometimes it is very useful but sometimes we need to switch it off okay yes a uh, one thing i did not tell you about this line thickness right so whenever we start na we always start it from we select all we make the by layer and we make the thickness as 0.09 okay what we do we select everything we select the by layer by layer is there and we select the line thickness as 0.09 okay ha huh. so now all the lines if i now going to proceed will be having a line thickness of 0.09 i will tell you what is to be done thick so what was the next thing given next thing given was the true length having a length 50 mm right and which was inclined at an angle 45 degree to the hp so now okay. below xy this distance is or this plane is hp and above xy this is vp correct yes so now i will take a line i will take the a dash as a point now i wanted to draw a line correct which is 50 mm long but inclined at an angle 45 so how i am going to do what i will type 50 right then i did not press anything ahead i have just selected the point a i taken a 50 now look at this Enter. press a shift and this angle press shift and angle can you notice zero degree the gap there where is angle like shift and where is angle Uh, angle means arrow head left or right greater than right uh, greater than less than symbol the right i know okay 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 ha uh, so less than symbol shift ke baad i used okay mm. then i will type 45 look at this so line taken an orientation this way so in this case the now the line is 50 mm long inclined at an angle 45 correct So as per the convention, what is this point is because it's a true length. So this point should be a. Uh, sorry, this point should be b one dash. Correct? Yes. So I will move this point and I will rename it as b one dash. Right? Yes. Now we will pass one horizontal line which is passing from the b one dash. Right? On which we are going to get the. another point which is also called as the front view or top view currently we will just draw this line okay and this line is drawn from the b dash basically so the line which is we will call this line is locus of b dash so i will write it down here locus of b dash B dash, okay. Getting? No. Yes. What is the next thing we do? We just draw this projection of B one dash till the A. Look at how I am doing to do. I have taken the point B dash, B one dash, taken the line command, and just went downward, and without clicking, I am taking a reference of the A. So. Look at this. So green color dotted line appear and stop it. Okay, and then I connect this line. Have you observed what I have done? Yes. Yes. So now 
द पॉइंट इज प्रोजेक्टेड बिलो द एक्स वाई इन लाइन विद द ए सो एज द सेम पॉइंट वर्टिकली डाउनवर्ड सो बी हूज डैश विल बी रिमूव एंड द पॉइंट विल बी नाउ दिस कॉल्ड एज बी वन ओके सो द सेम पॉइंट अबो द एक्स वाई विल बी डैश बिलो द एक्स वाई विल बी विदाउट डैश गेटिंग सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द टॉप यू ओके नाउ वी विल शो द वट इज द एंगल just small line i am doing drawing this no need of this line just for reference now i will take this angular path dimension i will click this line i will click this line see this 45 okay this okay. is okay oh snap you you turned off the oh snap no not required currently okay when the oh snap will create a problem whenever there are Too closely points spaced. Yes, got you word. Yes. Okay, so this was the solution for the first problem. Okay. So now I will take the to the third problem that I have already listed in the AutoCAD. This problem I will refer, which was there already I have posted here. Yes. Okay. Okay. I will draw the X Y line. First, okay. Okay. I will copy this X from here. Switch it off the ortho so that I can properly place the X here. Switch it off the. Uh, copy this Y. Yes. Okay. Now, what is mentioned? A line AB. 70 mm long before even proceeding ahead what we get to know what is the length of the line uh true length of the line is 70 mm perfect right uh, whenever we say it's a true length how do we designate the true length uh like the xy line yeah it's a ab line right what is the okay. notation a dash b1 dash equals to ab2 correct these are the notation for true length yes yes so always write down this on a rough paper before proceeding anything okay yes. now what is mentioned right it is inclined at an angle 30 degree to hp so what is mentioned if the line is inclined at 30 degree to hp so we are given with theta which is 30 degree correct mm. yes the uh, theta will be 30 because it is inclined to hp correct and phi will be 5 degree perfect perfect so i am writing this letters theta and phi to avoid shifting to the symbols mode okay 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 what is mentioned next the it's uh, then, then it it's end point a is 10 mm above hp correct that so, means it will be uh, above the xy plane yes above a dash. xy sorry a dash a dash yes, in reference to xy is above a dash x above xy how much distance 10 10 above xy correct right and 20 mm in front so whenever uh, that is, means that means be uh, like uh, below xy line perfect so how much 20 correct now yes draw the projection of line ab assume the complete line is in the first quadrant right it is also mentioned and even though if it would have not been given we will be still able to locate because uh, it was not mentioned about what was the position of the point b correct so still we would have assume that the point, complete line would have been in the first quadrant okay so yes. now what we will do we will take the point a like this about uh, xy 10 enter right then this i will take 20 enter correct i will copy this this a dash and a correct Then yes, 
I will mark the dimensions. Immediately do this because later on you might tend to forget. Yes. Ten. Right. This is twenty. Now, once the a dash and a is located, what is the next thing? Locate the true length. To locate the true length in reference to the x y, that is, what is the angle made by the true length with reference to x y? That is with reference to H P as well as with respect to V P, right? It both are given, correct? Along with yes. what is the length? So what is the length given here? Seven zero, right? Yes. So what we can do? We can take this seventy mm, right? At an angle thirty, because theta is above x y, and phi is below x y. So we will take the first. 70 at an angle 30. So what we need to do? Take the line command. Take the position of a dash by keeping the O snap on so that we can properly select the a dash endpoint. Now, even if the ortho mode is on or off, doesn't matter. We type 70. We press the shift. We press the less less than symbol, right? And we type angle 30. Okay. The line is now inclined. Okay. Mm. So what is this point as per the notation B one dash, correct? Yes. So I will copy this B one dash from the other question, and now mark it as. As soon as I mark the B one dash, what I will do? Dimension. Ha uh, yes, I can do the dimension. I will pass a line horizontal from the point B one dash like this. Locus of B. Yes, 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 yes. Correct, correct. So this point will be, or this line will refer to as locus of B dash. Okay. Okay. Not B one dash. Not B one dash. Why not B one dash? Because on the same line, I am also going to get the B dash without the suffix yeah. of one. Okay. Now, yeah. as you suggested, whether we should give the dimension. Yes, you can give the dimension immediately. I will take this align. I will take the a dash. I will take the b one dash, and I will mark it as seven zero. Okay. 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 Right. Uh, later on, I will tell you how to modify the dimension. But first thing, we need to able to be draw so that it will be correct answer. Right. Now, we need to locate the true length with reference to the vertical plane, which at an angle forty five degree. Correct. So now we take the point A, distance seven zero. Now we take the inclination, right? Mm. Oh, wait, wait. What I have done? I did not move the point. Look at this. Now the ortho mode needs to be off. Okay, getting okay. this? Yes. Now if I type the seven zero, inclined at an angle forty five. Look at this. Where it went? Above, right? Mm. This you need to closely look, right? Then we can we can put minus forty five then. Perfect. It will go. Yes, yes. So seven zero, inclined at an angle minus forty five. Right. Okay. So this is the simplest way to do. And this point will be as per the notation B two. B two, right? And locus of B to B, B locus, locus of, of B. B, correct. So I will pass immediately horizontal line from it. Ortho mode on, right? I will copy this, or I can create a very similar to the text here, and instead of copying this, I can immediately write down there locus of B or B dash, and then after exploding, I can just move on this, right? Now we will also give the dimension to it to just ensure whether it is really seventy. Yes, it is seventy. Right? We can also mark the angles. Thirty. Okay. Now, what needs to be done next? We wanted to get the. projections so 
to get the projections means what to get the top view and front view how do we get project this b1 dash till where till the horizontal line from a okay look at this yes so as this point b1 dash is projected till the locus of or the horizontal line pass from a the dash will now get removed and this point will be now called as b1 are you getting this okay see same point with dash above xy without dash below xy getting this mm. now i will tell the next process how what to do with this ab1 later on but we will transfer this b2 dash b2 to get the b2 dash above xy how it can be done just draw vertical line switch it on the ortho mode till where till the horizontal line pass from the a dash like this okay now this is b2 b2 projected upwards above the xy so what this point will be b2 dash correct same point yes. above the xy with dash right yes. currently don't worry about where we are placing the points and how they are looking okay okay now we wanted to reach to the final top view and front view so now closely look what we can do we can take an arc center start and end okay what we have taken arc center arc. start and end some people might suggest you to use a circle that is also desirable but i prefer this method i will tell you okay. why center start end where is my center point a dash where is my starting point b2 and where is my a point ending just cross this done yes yes so after crossing this b2 dash with this locus of b dash the point i am getting this as b dash okay so i will take this point b dash move it this point is i am getting it at b dash i will join it immediately okay mm. now what thing you should notice that always b dash is a point which is above the xy and b is a point which is nothing but projection of the b dash so b dash and b will always lie on one vertical line okay so to just show you i will draw the vertical line switch it on the ortho mode right so this point i should get b okay getting now let us verify is it really b how we can verify let us take the center point as a at distance of a b1 as a radius so now i will take this a da a b1 now i wanted to go in a reverse direction so i will press the control look at this now switch it of the ortho mode so that we can take the length of the arc as per our requirement see this i already press the control okay yes. so that direction of the arc is reversed can you closely look sorry my mouse i think behaving ha ah, erratically yes closely look that these two points are exactly coinciding right the arc is exactly passing through the point which which is stressed correct yes so what you can do either take the a as a center b1 as a radius and draw an arc and then we can verify this b dash and b r lying on one vertical line okay so now i am moving this point b and i will name this as b okay now i can join this b to a okay now what is the last thing needed to be done select this a dash b dash select this ab and now thickness is to be taken as 0.3 look at this the line is highlighted but still the line thickness is not changed because here on the bottom you can see the line widths are not on 
Okay, once I select okay. this, you can see that the line weights are now on. Mm. Can you notice the difference? Okay. Mm. Now, sometimes we need to measure this angle. What is the angle made by this front view with respect to this? Look at this. Okay. We just clicked on dimension. Yes. Click on the dimensions of angle. Selected this line. Selected this reference and place. Now and here. And O snap is on or off? Sorry. O snap is still on. Now, based on how much is the next O snap point, the angle can be shown or it could be fetched. Just look at this. This I am selecting for the bottom. That is for a top view. This I am selecting. Now, see this. Now, can you see the rectangle square? If I click it, this 55 will get overlap there now. Now slightly moving away. Now you can see that there is no O snap point nearby. Now if whenever I will click, the dimension will appear there itself. But if I move it closer, can you see that green color box appearing? Yes. Because of that green color box, the 55 will now automatically will be fetched there once I click. Okay. So to appropriately place. Uh, see that there is no snap point nearby or you can switch it off while placing because we have already taken the endpoints required now i switch it off and placed okay in this way this problem gets complete okay getting now how do we modify the things right double click this right or currently delete this 70 right what we do we take the multi line text we write down here at true length okay change the height let us take 5 sorry instead of 554 ho gaya 5 okay Let's copy this place it here okay will copy or move this place it here and now we will rotate it select this rotate keeping the T as a base point in this way okay here you might have to do little tweaking to appropriately plus in the reference to this position getting true length yes and here you can write down ahead true length is equals to 70 similarly i will select this tl word i will use the rotate select the base of the tl and slightly make it align okay i will double click this tl word I will write down equals to 70. Click. Okay. Mm. Similarly, I can copy this TL just above. Right. Now, I do not want this 70 word. So, what I will write down here FV F dot V dot. Correct. Because what is A dash B dash? It's a front view. Right. If if it is possible, then do the correct inclination. Otherwise, leave it there. Don't waste much time in inclining that. Okay. Right. Similarly, I will copy this true length. And I will mark this word as top view. And how do we incline it? I will just copy this tree length. Okay. Now here I will not change the inclination because it is already okay. Okay. So whenever you make this and if it is correct entirely, you will get 10 out of 10. Okay. Yes. No need to worry about what are the orientation of the text. Make sure the answer is correct. Okay. Yes.
okay so uh, i will currently stop here i will share you the question you can okay. draw it manually then i will tell you how to replicate that in the autocad okay okay sir yes okay, okay. thank you so much sir you are welcome we will continue it on wednesday uh wednesday online lecture okay online online because currently okay. i am too busy to take the offline okay so, so to... college mein you are not available in college i am available in college but there are parallel things going on tomorrow is the conference right so for the okay. conference work uh, i will be completely devoting for 8 hours okay so you will you won't be free tomorrow ha huh. okay okay yes thank you so much yeah, welcome i leave